Welcome back. A long-standing problem at America's beaches is becoming a more urgent concern. From coast to coast, the sand is disappearing at an alarming pace, and the race is on to stem the tide. Ann Thompson has the details. On the beach in Atlantic City, you'll find children building in the sand and adults doing the same on this New Jersey barrier island. One of many battles to preserve America's beaches under assault from coastal storms and rising sea levels fueled by climate change. 80 to 90 percent of our beaches are eroding. Rates from only a few inches a year up to up to 50 feet a year in Louisiana, which is the erosion hotspot of the United States. Though the beach is where we like to play. So you get refreshed, you can just clear your mind. It plays a critical role in our natural defense. The beach is nature's protection against storms for the island and everything behind it. Here, that means Atlantic City's famous boardwalk and its hotels and casinos. So the beach is being fortified with this $18 million project. 1.3 million cubic yards of sand will be dredged, filtered, and spread along five miles of shoreline. Can you just put the sand anywhere? No, we, we generally want to put the sand where it's going to do the most good. Including at the brand new Revel Resort. I think it'll be very important because, you know, that's what we're selling, is we're selling a beachfront experience. But critics say this is just another example of man's folly, trying to replenish what the ocean is so determined to reclaim. But it can work. Look at Miami's South Beach, rescued by a $65 million addition of sand in the late 1980s, the foundation for today's popular tourist destination. If we had let the natural erosion proceed, we wouldn't have any uh, beaches in South Beach, Miami Beach, or, or large parts of uh, Fort Lauderdale. A chance no one here in Atlantic City wants to take. Ann Thompson, NBC News, Atlantic City.